Hello guys, bringing you another Total War Warhammer online ranked battle. Today I'll be playing as Chaos, and here's a badass Chaos Giant. And my opponent will be playing as Bretonia. So I've decided I'm going to upload five battles over the next two days to finish what I said I would do, which is to upload a battle or a victory as every race that are currently in the game. Uh, a lot of these armies aren't necessarily the best tactical builds, but I just thought I'd build some cool armies for us to look at with some really sick units. So we'll... Uh, Go through the army comps, and then we'll let the battle roll. So, for my main line, I have, on the flanks, Forsaken. These mutated Chaos Warriors that are just so gnarly. They're damage dealing, frenzy, crazy, just get in there, chop everyone up, go off the head. In the centre, I have one unit of Chaos Marauders Great Weapons. One unit of normal Chaos Marauders. <clears throat> and then... More Forsaken on the sides. Archaeon has just fired a fireball. This is my leader, Archaeon. Lord of the End Times. He's just fired a fireball at the, the Bretonian goon squad, as you like, as you call them. Archaeon is joined by the Swords of Chaos, who are the Regiment of Renown, Chaos Knights. They are Archaeon's personal bodyguard, and they are freaking awesome. They've got all sorts of mutations and they've got fire in their eyes just like Archaeon does. We have a huge contingent of Chaos Knights. Chaos Knights with lances here and Chaos Knights with swords. Just awesome the way they leave fire in their in their wake and uh, Archaeon's going to be riding around with them as his sort of you know cavalry uh, bodyguard and we've got a Chaos Giant. Just because, why not, eh? Have a Chaos Giant. Taking a lot of Archer Fire. My opponent's army is Frontline of Halbeards. He's just gone for a massive Halbeard blob and tons of uh, Archers. <clears throat> so we're going to get the Frontline engagement. In the... Uh, Swords of Chaos are going to go around with the Chaos Knights. And then these guys, they're going to dive, try and dive on Archaeon. But watch the giant going in. I actually pathed the giant through. <laughs> He's not even bothered about the Halbeards. Oosh! <laughs> so he actually engaged on me here, thinking he could defeat Archaeon with his two paladins and his things. But the uh, Swords of Chaos and the Chaos Knights lances here are just going to surround and it's not going to be a great engagement for them hang on a sec right and then this is the real turning point of the battle so because i had such a huge cav force uh even though a lot of them are locked up here fighting the paladins and i mean look at the health loss here i think it's mainly due to these guys to be honest with you these guys are insanely strong the swords of chaos um and archaeon's probably not a pushover either look he's got all of his buffs on but this is the real turning point of the battle. <clears throat> Obviously, the frontline engagement happened the way that the guy wanted it to. We've got halberds going off against, uh, you know, Forsaken and stuff. But then, look, because I've got such a huge cavalry force free, one unit of Chaos Knights gets round. And that is enough to send panic through the lines. And we'll watch the charge here. These poor peasant archers, they've already get mangled by a giant. And then, boom! They try and counter charge with the pole arms, but I mean, these guys are just going to have a miserable time. Look, they're already retreating. And then I'm just going to pull them through, past the giant, into more of them. Meanwhile, these guys are just tanking it. And my uh, Chaos Knights, they're doing fine. We've got a free Forsaken on the flanks. They're going to get in as well. And another huge charge from the Chaos Knights. And that's uh, it's going to send panic through the Bretonian army. The Giants coming in. These peasants, they're just not, they're not built to withstand this kind of shit. Meanwhile, these guys are just surrounded. 
taking a lot of damage and they're going to break. Well, these two are uh, breaking and there we go. I think my opponent quits here because he realises uh, the might of chaos is too strong. But yep, that's the first battle. I'm getting pretty excited for the new release of the new game. It's going to add some new races to multiplayer, which I'm really looking forward to. So I'm just going to upload a ton of content to my channel to do with this game because it's still an amazing game. And, you know, you can watch Chaos Knights and Chaos Giants mangling loads of peasants. You can't beat that. So, uh, you know, let me know uh, what you think in the comments. Peace out.